Hello my dear children. How are you all? Ramadan Karim to all of you. Today we will continue the chapter Animal Life. In the last class we were discussing about the adaptations in body covering. Then we discussed about scales, shells, hair and fur, feathers. Then we discussed about some other features like migration, hibernation, estivation. Then we solved exercise set A and B. Hope you all did that homework in the textbook. Let's continue the exercise set C. Complete the following table. Here you have to write the breathing organs of given animals. The first one prongs. Prongs has gills. Aquatic animals has gills. Fish gills, dog, lungs, cockroach, spiracles, parrot, lungs, snail, moist skin, earthworm, moist skin, frog, both moist skin and lungs, human beings, lungs, snake, lungs, lizards, lungs, housefly, spiracles, dolphin, lungs, Birds, lungs. Coming to the next set of exercise, D. Give two examples of given things. First one, scavengers. Hyena, vulture. Second one, animals with fur on their bodies. Dogs, polar bear. Third one, animals that breathe through oil skin. Answer, frog, petal. Fourth one, migratory animals, Siberian green, eelfish. Fifth one, animals with six legs, cockroach, butterfly. Sixth question, animals with shell on their bodies, turtles, snake. Seven, carnivores, lion, tiger. Eighth question, animals that hibernate, polar bear, snake, snails. Let's solve the question and answers of this chapter. The first question, why does a fish die when taken out of water? The answer is, fish can breathe only the oxygen dissolved in water. So when the fish taken out of water, it will die. The second question, define migration. Why do animals migrate? The answer is, the periodic movement of animals from one place to another and back to their original home is called migration. Animals used to migrate to long distances every year to escape the extreme cold weather to give birth to their young ones or in search of food. Coming to the third question, mention the functions of different types of fins in a fish. The answer is, the paired fins serve as oars when the fish is swimming slowly. The unpaired fins serve in maintaining balance. The tail fin helps the fish move forward and also to change the direction. Coming to the fourth question, how are the scales of a fish different from those of reptiles? The answer is, the Scales of fish are overlapping and waterproof. The scales of reptiles are leathery, preventing water loss from their bodies. Girls, hope you all understood about today's topic. So this is the time for homework. You have to do the chapter exercise C and D in the textbook. Second homework, write the question and answers from 1 to 4 in the copy. Thank you. Have a nice day.